Hey y'all, so for this check-in in my aha moment, I'm going to take it back to discussion two. Discussion two was about learning styles, and we all had to take our own little multiple intelligence tests ourselves, which I, to say the least, I wasn't shocked about my results. I've actually done this once or twice before in undergrad, so I had some experience and knew what I was getting into and what I was going to have as results probably, which I think they're totally on point with how I learn and like to do hands-on type of stuff. But really my aha moment actually comes from an article that was within the discussion board, which was the myth of learning styles. And within this was a study that was done by Hussman and her colleagues, which they tested over a hundred and something students with the VARC questionnaire. With the VARC questionnaire, they got results back showing them like maybe study tips or so that would benefit them. But the research that she did came back showing that these students didn't use any of the tips or strategies for when studying, um, which was, to be honest, mind-blowing. Because um, personally, with the results I got from my multiple intelligence, um, some of the examples that they were showing was for one of the parts I got like movement area and it was saying something about how like uh, I would like um, write letters on the person's back to spell out or like trace things which I know when I was in elementary school I totally did those types of things and that was like my type of learning for me it was how to be visual and hands-on type of and like I remember one of my teachers when I was really young put like hair gel and a Ziploc baggie and gave us them all to like use and like make the letters and do all the movements in that little space with the hair gel which was awesome so I just thought it was crazy that this study just happened to be not aligning with those strategies which I found weird but it's probably due to the fact that these students were a lot older and set in their ways with how they learn and study. So maybe if they did this when they were like really young, they might implement or actually take on those types of studying tips and strategies. So overall, that was my kind of like little aha moment. So can't wait till the next one. Y'all have a good night.